I'll tell you the best thing that they can do is to continue to stay informed. Um, and it, the, the basic decisions uh, in terms of, okay, what training and what travel uh, and exactly how is the 10% base operating support cuts, how are they going to be uh, divvied up at the base? Those decisions are going to be made by commanders and commanding officers. So the best thing that sailors and families can do is stay plugged in with their command, stay informed, um, log on to our website here at Navy.mil, uh, and stay in touch with the command leadership team about the exact impacts to them and to their commands. Now, these should be and will rightfully be mostly local decisions made at that level. Um, the other thing I would tell you is what one thing they, they can certainly do is not worry about their pay and benefits. Uh, the president has made it very clear that even if sequestration takes effect, that pay and benefits for uh, our troops and their families are not going to be touched. They will remain outside that circle. Uh, and so, uh, and CNO said this very clearly when he was uh, down in Norfolk uh, just last week. Um, we're going to continue to pay our people and provide them the benefits that they deserve. Uh, these cuts, these reductions, these impacts to the way the Navy trains and operates are going to be done without an impact to that particular factor.